What I'm going to show here is how to enable WebDAV and Isilon and how to access a directory uh, or how to map a drive to a directory uh, using a URL from a Windows client. So I'm going to start by going over to protocols. I'm going to click on HTTP settings. Uh, what you'll see here if you haven't been to this page before is this second toggle button is selected. That is the default. Um, what I've done is I've enabled it and I've specified a document root and I've also enabled web dev. Um, none of those things will be filled in if this is the first time to the page. Uh, once you enable it, you're no longer able to access uh, the administration UI in the same way uh, that you may have been accessing it in the past. Typically, you just type an IP address or URL and you're going to get a redirect to 8080. That redirect isn't going to happen anymore. You're actually going to have to explicitly put colon 8080 at the end of your URL to get to the admin UI. Um, once you do that, uh, it may make sense to change the ownership of the directory. Uh, to the user that the httpd daemon runs as. So um, that's what I did here. Um, IFS HTTP is my root directory. I just did a shown daemon uh, IFS slash HTTP, and this is the result of it right here. Um, so that'll give that daemon uh, read write access into your directory. So uh, once that's done, once this piece is done, what you'll want to do is come over to your Microsoft client um, and you uh, may need to add a feature if uh, that hasn't already been added. Uh, this is Windows 2008 and uh, I came into Server Manager, I clicked on Features, um, I added a feature uh, and this is the one that I added, uh, Desktop Experience. That does require a reboot, uh, but once that reboot is complete, uh, your web dev client should be installed. Uh, the other piece that you're going to have to make sure of is that the service is started. So um, just go over services, uh, and it's called the web client. So uh, let's see, you'll see it right here, and it's currently started. Um, but it is set to manual, so you'll have to come in here and explicitly start it yourself. Uh, once that's done, uh, you should be able to map a drive. So I'm going to go net use asterisk HTTP colon slash slash uh, the URL. And I completed successfully. I can come into Windows Explorer and browse on the uh, drive that I just mapped. And what I should see is the same thing I see in my root directory, which, as you can see here, is test file. And if I come over and actually look at the directory itself, I see the same thing. So that's WebDAV. Uh, in, a, in its simplest form, um, and that's a Microsoft client connecting to it.